welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is jerry and on this channel i love to talk about things related to spirituality hoodoo candles growth healing and all things of that nature so if you're interested in learning about those things feel free to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you're new here then welcome to my little community i hope you like the videos that i have up and i know that you're gonna like the videos that i have coming out in today's video if you haven't read the title already we're going to be talking about days of the week and how it correlates to your spirituality how can you use the energy of every day of the week in your magic right this is something that people don't know too much about this is something that's kind of a not really touched on topic in the spiritual spiritual community so this is something that i wanted to go ahead and put my little two cents in if you will and give you guys the information that i've earned and that i've known and just offer you guys that information to do what you will with and if you see me looking over at this little book that's my notes that's the things that i really want to touch on in this video so just excuse that and we're gonna go ahead and get into this video so as most of you may or may not know everything in the universe has its own energy everything has an energy to it be it plants trees animals everything kind of has an energy and this is true even for the days of the week sunday has its own energy monday has its own energy Tuesday has its own energy and every single day has its own energy. So this is something that I want to talk about today, the energy of each day, if you will. Each day of the week can also be corresponded to planetary energy. So for example, Monday is with the moon, if that makes sense. Monday correlates to moon energy, the mother. Monday is also correlated to the color white because every single day has its own colors it has its own planetary energy it has its own zodiac sign energy that kind of goes with that day if that makes sense right so that's what we're going to be touching on today like the different colors that go into each day um the different planetary energies the zodiac signs the crystals the herbs everything like that and i'm even going to be giving you a few little tips on things that you can do to boost the energies of that day for you or different magic rituals that you can do and specify it to that day of the week so we're going to go ahead and start with sunday sunday it's already in the name but the planetary energy of sunday is the sun of course the sun is kind of um confident energy it's this the world revolves around me which it actually does so the sun and sunday can also be correlated with the zodiac sign of leo and everyone's always talking about how leos are conceited and leos think the world revolves around them that's because leo is also ruled by the sun and the sun thinks or knows that the world rules around it it revolves around the sun right so that is why sunday is kind of the focus of the week if you want to say that that's the day where everyone's usually resetting for monday and tuesday and to carry on with the week that's the reset of the week and that's kind of because it's kind of the the star of the show if you want to say that so sunday holds the energy of success of promotion of growth of wealth so this all these energies that sunday holds it makes sunday a great day to do something for your personal growth and personal gain. So if you've been wanting to hit the gym, for example, doing that on a Sunday can be very, very beneficial, right? Because of the energy of personal growth, personal gain, personal success, personal development that it holds, right? And like I said, Sunday is also ruled by the zodiac sign of Leo and Leo, like I said, can be deemed as being conceited or focusing on themselves all the time. So that kind of goes hand in hand with this Sunday energy of focusing on yourself and focusing on you and the things that you want to achieve. Sunday is also known to be a rest day in a lot of different cultures. I know in Christianity, Sunday is known to be the day of the Lord when everyone's supposed to rest. No one's supposed to work on a Sunday, right? That is because the energy of Sunday is kind of dominant. It's kind of everything is about me and it's kind of a good day to really focus on personal gain and personal growth and personal development. The element of Sunday is also fire. So fire is very passionate energy. It's very determined energy. Fire is just that basically fire, right? So, 
So Sunday has this very passionate energy about it, which is why you can seem to get a lot more things done with Sunday, which is why you can do more things with the Sunday energy because Sunday is very passionate. It's very personal, goal-driven, if that makes sense. Now, the colors for Sunday, colors that could be great to wear on Sunday would be gold, orange, yellow, and I think those are like the main three or variations of those colors as well. But gold, orange, and yellow can really help you embody that energy of Sunday. So if you know that you're wanting to do something for your personal development and your personal gain, you could wear these colors and work towards that goal on a Sunday. And that will exponentially help you with the work that you're doing. If you're doing a spell, if you're doing a bath, a ritual, whatever it may be. Wearing those colors or incorporating those colors into your spell work can really help you with your rituals. And that's the same for pretty much every single day. It's just different colors and different rituals, of course. Some stones that would be beneficial to wear on a Sunday would be citrine, topaz, and carnelian. I actually have some right there. Yep. Carnelian um, is the stone of creativity, so it can help you boost your creative energies. And Citrine is a good money stone as well. So like I said, Sunday is a day of success and wealth. So if that's something that you're wanting to do, you can do a ritual surrounding those things and incorporate some Citrine and Carnelian into those rituals as well. Some good herbs to use on a Sunday would be cloves, cedar, chamomile and sunflowers of course those are some good herbs to incorporate into your day on a sunday or to burn first thing in the morning to burn throughout the day or to cleanse your energy those are good herbs to use because they really embody that sunday energy they really embody those planetary energies of the sun right so that's what i have for sunday let's go ahead and move on to monday Monday also has a similar name to its planetary ruler, the moon. Of course, I already stated that Monday is ruled by the moon. The moon is very feminine energy. It's very emotional energy and everything of that nature. So Monday, everyone seems to hate Mondays. Maybe it's because of how emotional they are or whatever it may be. But everyone's always like, oh, I hate Mondays and this, that, and the other. Well, if you were using your Sunday to prepare for the week, you wouldn't really hate Mondays. But to each its own, right? But everyone's always like, oh, I hate Mondays. I don't like to do things on Mondays. That may be because Monday is kind of a mellow energy due to the moon being its ruler. The moon is kind of just, I don't know. I love the moon. The moon is like calming and everything like that. So the moon is just really relaxing, I feel like. So I feel like a lot of people don't like Monday because of the energy surrounding Mondays. Monday is also ruled by Cancer, but Cancer is also ruled by the moon. So they all kind of go hand in hand. It's like the moon rules cancer and monday basically and cancer is known to be very emotional cancer is also known to be the mother of the zodiac sign but the moon is also known to be the mother of the planets so you can think of monday being as the mother of the week if that makes sense and so mondays are really good to do feminine workings fertility workings can be really beneficial to do on monday intuition strengthening um rituals can be really good to do on a monday as well due to the moon being intuition and prophetic dreams may also be very strong on monday so if you wake up and you're like dang like that dream was kind of vivid or crazy and it's monday that could be why because of the energies of that monday it's just monday is all about feminine energy and feminine things so monday is a great day especially for women to do their rituals to do a spiritual bath to do a feminine working to tap into your divine feminine energy that's kind of what monday is all about and just bringing forth your true feminine form and also like i said strengthening your intuition can be beneficial to do on a monday due to the moon going hand in hand with that monday energy if that makes sense monday is also um water sign energy so as you may or may not know water sign energy is very um prophetic water is just very a very strong powerful tool the same way that fire is but water is also a very strong powerful tool especially when it comes to intuition when it comes to feminine energy when it comes to divination so those are things that can also boost your rituals incorporating water moon water 
Florida water, just incorporating water into your Monday rituals. Maybe cleansing yourself with water on a Monday or anything like that can help boost your Monday, especially if you're the type of person who's like, I hate Mondays. Maybe that's your feminine energy being off balance more so than anything else because Monday is ruled by that feminine energy thanks to the moon and cancer and everything like that, right? The colors associated with Monday are silver, pearl, lavender, and white. Those are colors that you can incorporate into your um, rituals. Maybe taking a white bath on Monday could be beneficial for cleansing. It incorporates the water, the colors of white and everything like that. So maybe that could be beneficial for you. Or just wearing those colors, dressing from head to toe in white on a Monday can boost the rest of your, um, the rest of the days of the week for you, right? Boosting that energy or just boosting the energy of Monday. And also you may even receive downloads thanks to the intuition and dressing in the colors and everything like that, right? The stones for Monday are going to be moonstone, quartz, fluorite and aquamarine of course moonstone moonstone holds i actually have some oh um, it's not where it usually is i just charge them and the full moon so i don't have it right now but moonstone is a beautiful stone i actually do have one on this necklace right here moonstone is a beautiful stone you can barely see it but it's a great feminine holding energy stone, if that makes sense. And it's a great stone to incorporate on your Monday. The herbs that you can use on a Monday are going to be myrtle, moonwort, white rose and camphor those can all be beneficial herbs to incorporate into your monday rituals into your monday day-to-day -day life cleansing your home with these um herbs on a monday can be beneficial or even cleansing yourself cleansing your energy or anything like that right that's all that i have for monday and now let's go ahead and move on to tuesday also known as mars day tuesday is ruled by mars which gets a bad rep for being aggressive and holding aggression you know women are from venus and men are from mars but then everyone's talking crap about how mars is aggressive which is deeming men to be aggressive but you know no one really talks about the good qualities of mars and everything of that nature right Mars gets a bad rep for being an aggressive planet and everything like that, but Mars also has really good qualities. And Tuesday embodies most of these qualities, although it may embody the aggression, it also embodies courage and passion and a lot of sexual energy as well. Ambition is another thing that Tuesday kind of embodies. So with this energy, Tuesday can help you achieve things that maybe you previously had a hard time going after, that maybe you previously were too scared to take the risk and do. So maybe you've been wanting to quit your job and start a business. Tuesday can help you embody that energy and doing rituals to achieve that thing that you're trying to do on a Tuesday can kind of give you that oomph that you need to achieve that, right? Tuesday kind of helps you embody courage, embody the bravery and go after whatever it is that you're trying to achieve rather than being timid or un not able to do those things, right? It kind of gives you that courage and that bravery that you may need to do certain things in your life. Unlike the other two days that we previously spoke about, Tuesday has two zodiac signs that rules it, those being Aries and Leo being water and water sign energy and fire sign energy so this can be beneficial for tuesday once again it has a lot of different elements playing into it it has a lot of different energies playing into tuesday if that makes sense so this can be a really beneficial day to do things to work towards especially putting your emotions aside with that water sign energy or incorporating your emotions into your magic like giving yourself that courage with that water sign energy and using that fire sign energy from aries to go straight after it and use ambition to get what it what it is that you want Tuesday is a great day for doing high energy activities. So if you're a sports person, you may play better on a Tuesday, right? Or doing sexual activities. So the sex might be better on a Tuesday. Got the club going up on a Tuesday, as they say, you never know, right? Incorporating aggression into your life and getting your point across with your career can also be beneficial to do on a Tuesday. The colors to wear on a Tuesday are, well, not even colors. The best color to wear on a Tuesday is going to be red. It's a great grounding color. It works with the root chakra. So wearing red on a Tuesday can keep you grounded when you're doing all of these things that may be 
out of character for you, right? Stones to wear on a Tuesday are pink tourmaline, bloodstone, garnet, and ruby. Those are great stones to wear on a Tuesday or to incorporate into your rituals that are done on a Tuesday. The herbs to use on a Tuesday are red roses, pine, carnation, patchouli, and um, nettle. Those are great um, herbs to use on a Tuesday. That's all that I have for Tuesday. Let's go ahead and move on to Wednesday. Yay! The the Mercury day that everyone dislikes when it goes into retrograde. Let's talk about Wednesday. Wednesday, otherwise known as Communication Day, is ruled by Mercury and Chiron. Mercury, of course, we know is the planet of communication and technologies. Everyone seems to hate Mercury as well. Like, oh no, Mercury's in retrograde. That's the only time people ever talk about it. But I don't I don't dislike Mercury like I think Mercury energy all the energies of the planets are beneficial in one way or another you just have to know how to use that energy more so than anything so Wednesday Wednesday is a great day for writing public speaking working on your memory which is something I need to do because my memory is terrible but working on your memory and intellectual pursuits are great things to do on a Monday I mean, on a Wednesday. See, there's the there's the memory thing. Wednesday is also a day of karma thanks to Chiron. So if you have any negative Chiron placements, I hope I'm not saying that wrong. Chiron, Chiron. If you have any placements in there, you may be due for some karma. You may experience some karma on a Wednesday or other people may be getting their karma on Wednesday. Wednesday is a day of karma. So it's likely that karmic things are taken care of on a Wednesday. Wednesday is ruled by Virgo energy. People deem Virgos to be perfectionist and everything like that. But really Virgos just like to have things done a certain way. It's not that they have to be perfect with it. It's that they want things done their way. So that can kind of be the energy of Wednesday. It may be kind of hard to do certain things on a Wednesday because the Virgo and the Mercury and the Chiron energy is kind of trying to get things done a certain way. And it may be going against what you're trying to do on that day. The colors for Wednesday are light blue, gray, and green. However, wearing um, orange and yellow can also be beneficial to do on a, on, on a Wednesday thanks to Chiron. So those are colors that you can wear on a Wednesday or use those color candles or whatever incorporating those colors into your Wednesday rituals. The stones for Wednesday are going to be moss agate opal soul delight and adventuring those are great stones to use on a wednesday or incorporate into your wednesday rituals and herbs to use on wednesday are going to be cinnamon dill sweet pea and fern so those are herbs that you can drink in a tea on a wednesday or incorporate into your rituals you don't even have to do rituals you can just use these herbs in your day-to-day -day wednesday if that makes sense what you're doing on a wednesday so if you know you have to cleanse on wednesday use one of these herbs instead of the typical herbs that you may use like a sage or um, Palo Santo use different herbs when you're smudging and you're cleansing like everyone is always so obsessed with using white sage like you can use other things too you can use a cinnamon stick you can use cedar you can use sweet grass like it doesn't always have to be sage especially white sage which is closed it's a closed practice so make sure that you're not just using sage willy-nilly it's closed to native cultures that's all i have for wednesday so let's go ahead and move on to thursday also known as money day which is my favorite day because i love me some money and who don't who don't okay so Thursday is ruled by Jupiter, otherwise known as the planet of luck and success. Thursday is a great day to deal with things related to business, wealth, um, prosperity, success, and abundance. That's kind of the energy, the vibe of Thursday. So coming into money on Thursday wouldn't be too out of the ordinary, ordinary because Thursday rules money and luck and fortune and those things of that nature so thursday is a great day to do any money workings it's also a great day to give your ancestors some ancestor money if that's something that you do giving it to them on a thursday can be beneficial wearing stones like citrine and pyrite can be great to do on a thursday as well to incorporate that jupiter energy into your life thursday is another day that has 
two zodiac signs, those being Sagittarius and Pisces. So once again, using those two energies in your Thursday rituals can be beneficial. Um, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, I believe. No, I, I'm not sure. Pisces might be as well. But Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. So maybe having a Sagittarius around on Thursday will, I don't know, boost your luck or something. <laughs> the colors of Thursday are blue, purple, turquoise, and green, of course, because money, like, duh. Incorporating those colors in your Thursday ritual can be beneficial to do. The stones, like I said, that you can use on Thursday, some of them are going to be citrine, pyrite. Those are two great money stones or abundant stones. Turquoise, sapphire, and amethyst can also be beneficial to use on a Thursday. The herbs for Thursday are going to be nutmeg cinnamon pine and oak and those are great herbs to use on a, a on a thursday blowing cinnamon into your house on a thursday can be beneficial and help you bring abundance into your home that's all i have for thursday so let's go ahead and move on to friday otherwise known as love day or venus day friday is surrounded by the energy of love friendships romance fertility self-love all those loving energies this is thanks to venus being its ruler of course as you may or may not know venus is the ruler of love and materials and beauty and all those sorts of things so thanks to venus being the ruler of friday we can incorporate those energies in our day-to-day -day rituals as well doing glamour magic on a friday maybe increasing its energy it may increase the success rate of that glamour magic doing fertility spells on a friday can be beneficial because it's ruled by venus with that fertility energy just doing things surrounded by the energy of friday can just be beneficial in general because all the energies are working together from the zodiac signs to the planetary energies and everything is just kind of working together so doing those things such as like i said glamour magic and fertility spells and anything else that's related to beauty and oh love spells also are another great thing to do on a friday if you're wanting to do those sorts of things doing a love spell can be beneficial to do on a friday it can boost the energy of those spells and rituals it can boost the success rate of those spells and rituals the zodiac rulers of friday is Taurus and Libra. Of course, you know, Taurus and Libra are both ruled by Venus. So those are the zodiac signs that, that relate to Friday. The colors that go with Friday are pale green, pink, deep green, violet, and cyan, or cyan, however you <laughs> say that one. But violet, pink, pale green, deep green, and cyan are the colors for Friday. The stones to use on a Friday, of course, are going to be number one, rose quartz. Emerald and jade are also great to use on a Friday. Those two work with the heart chakra as well, which surrounds the love energy. So using those stones in your Friday rituals or beautification can boost the magnitude and success rate of those rituals. The herbs for Friday are lily, birch, ivy, rose, and sage. So make sure to incorporate those herbs into your Friday life, what you're doing on Friday, basically. Whatever you're doing on Friday, do something with these herbs, crystals, or colors to kind of boost the energy of your Friday. Last but not least, we have Saturday or Saturn's day get it because saturn is the ruler <laughs> oh my gosh that was so corny but saturday is ruled by saturn saturn is a, a planet of protection um i like to think of saturday as being my protection work day so if i'm doing protection work nine times out of ten i'm gonna try and do it on a saturday or tuesday tuesday is another good day to do um protection work as well i forgot to mention that but i'm gonna try and do my work on a saturday or a tuesday because that's when the energy for protection is at its highest so doing protective rituals on a saturday can be beneficial or just banishing negative energies can be beneficial to do on a saturday as well so banishing um protective rituals cleansing those are great things to do on a saturday because of the heightened energy of protection and everything like that 
it's also a great day for setting boundaries. So if you ever need someone to just stop whatever they're doing or leave you alone, you can do rituals and spells on a Saturday to get them to stop and hold off on their energy, right? Saturday is also a great day for family time and competition and completion. So spending time with your family can bring about a lot of good feelings and good emotions because Saturday kind of rules family time and everything like that. And also receiving closure on a Saturday can be something that is more likely to happen because the energy brings about co the completion, right? Colors to wear on a Saturday is black, brown, and sometimes a deep, deep blue can be worn on a Saturday as well. Those are really good protective and grounding colors to wear on a Saturday. Great stones to use on a Saturday are smoky quartz, black onyx, jet, and obsidian are great stones to use on a Saturday. Those are also great protective stones, as well as some black tourmaline can be beneficial to use on a Saturday. The herbs to use on a Saturday are ivy, oak, myrrh, and mandrake. So be careful with some of these herbs because some of them can be poisonous if ingested or used wrong. So make sure you're doing your own research and not just taking what I say and running with it. Make sure that you do your own research because some of the herbs that are used for a Saturday can be poisonous if used wrong or tried to use as a tea. I almost forgot, but the zodiac signs for Saturday are Capricorn and Aquarius. So those are also energies that you can incorporate. Even using the symbols of the zodiac signs and your rituals can be beneficial to do to embody that energy into your ritual, into your candle, inscribing them into your candle. And this goes for any of the days, not just Saturday, but using the zodiac sign symbols or even the symbols of the planets and inscribing them into your candles on that day can boost, like boost your ritual your your energy that you're putting into the candles that you're putting into the herbs that you're putting into the crystals or whatever you're using like doing those things those are simple things that you can do to boost your magical workings that is all that i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video i tried to take my time and give as much detail as possible so now you guys know what colors herbs crystals and rituals you can do on every single day you also know the zodiac rulers of the day the planetary rulers of every day and everything like that so from this point on your magic should be boosted bae like you need to be doing on your <laughs> right? You need to be doing what you got, using the knowledge that I just gave you to boost your magic, right? So I hope you guys learned something from this video. The intention was to teach you about the days of the week and how to use their energies in your rituals. So I hope now that you know about the things I just taught you, you can incorporate those things into your magic and boost it to a whole new level. Go ahead and leave a like on this video if you liked what I have for you today. Feel free to leave a comment down below and comment anything you want, whether you want me to do another video going more into depth about this topic or anything you want to see from me or anything like that. Go ahead and feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias at Ashe and Ascend and shop with me on my website to get this beautiful jewelry, other herbs and crystals and candles and everything that I have at asheandascend.com. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Bye!